And we get it to the voice of the Breeders' Cup once again, Larry Colmas. And Echo Zulu moves into the starting gate. They're all in line. They're off in the Net Jets Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies. And there goes Echo Zulu. Right to the front and opening up from Tarabi, who's away running in second. Desert Dawn is third early on. The Juju's map and hidden connection between horses. Sequest is at the back of the pack as they make their way into that first turn. Echo Zulu wasting no time here. She's on top by a length and a half. Tarabi is running in second. Juju's map off the rail third. She's two and a half lengths off the lead, heading to the back stretch. The Desert Dawn on the inside of Hidden Connection, and Sequest is the trailer. The first quarter was 23.42 seconds. A solid pace up the back stretch, set by this fast filly at Gozulu. She's on top by a length and a half over Tarabi in second. Hidden Connection is in between Juju's map and Desert Dawn, and they've got five lengths on Sequest. Echo Zulu and 47.01 for the first half mile. The pace is not all that fast for her, and she's going to move into the far turn under Joel Rosario with a length and a half lead. Tarabi is hanging in there in second. Juju's map is third, and she's gaining a bit of ground now. Hidden Connection is full out, being asked for more by Raylu Gutierrez. Desert Dawn and Sequest, Echo Zulu motoring along on the far turn. She still has a two-length lead. Tarabi has run a big race. Juju's map is there on the outside, and they're into the stretch, and it's Echo Zulu set down for the final furlong, opening up by four. Tarabi and Juju's map battling for second behind a no-doubt champion. Echo Zulu wins the Net Jets Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies by five and a half lengths. And then it was Juju's map, followed by Tarabi. Steve Asmussen pumping his fist once again. Echo Zula, it was four years ago. We saw her dad, Gunrunner, win the biggest race of the Breeders' Cup, the Breeders' Cup Classic. Four years later, Echo Zulu gets a Breeders' Cup win of her own. So she's not only physically really gifted, she's sharp mentally. Uh, Steve Asmussen is a trainer that has a uh, reputation to have his horses break extremely sharp from the gate. The first couple of jumps, this filly did that. She gained the advantage right there. The first 50 yards, Juju's map did not break so well. Echo Zulu did. She immediately took command, dropped over to the rail under Joel Rosario, the jockey, and she was in complete domination. You can see her uh, as we are loading in the starting gate right now. Juju's map and Echo Zulu, Echo Zulu, boom. It jumped three strides and she's already linked in front of her. She got the twilight gleaming start. Yeah. And she didn't even have to be hustled hard by Joel Rosario. The race was over right here. Completely over. Lock, stock, and barrel. Go cash your tickets. Go stand in line. They're not going to beat her at that spot. Not only is she cr controlling the pace, but she's running on the inside. Juju's map is three wide, losing ground both turns. So too many advantages for oh. a filly of this quality to give away. And the pace wasn't even particularly that fast. And then you see Hidden Connection, who's back there four lengths or so off the pace, in a different spot further behind than she's ever been before, having to be pushed along to try to keep up. Got discouraged. Couldn't do it. What a, what a filly. Echo Zulu sensational.